Alright, what's going on guys? As many of you know or don't know about cryptocurrency, there are so many different scams going out there, so be safe when learning about crypto. But today's video will be talking about FaZe Clan and Ricecom, of course. Of all things, you wouldn't expect FaZe Clan to be part of such a scam. But four of their members, K, Jarvis, Tico, and Nick Can have been basically reprimanded for what they've done, which is scam hundreds of thousands of dollars out of their fans and other random people in a pump and dump coin called Save the Kids. My name's Frazier. My name's Jarvis. I'm Tico. I'm Raisco. I'm Nikon. And I support Save the Kids Token. 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 Which is a great idea of currency used for supporting people of charity currency. But when you think about that, what they did is not nice or not charitable at all. The currency was first created as a way of saving the kids, but no one knew what um, charity it went to. They never said what charity it went to. It just said giving back to charity, which that sounds like the biggest lie ever, but yeah, but when you think about this, if you go to, well, if you went to their site, which is now broken down, it's gone. You could find it on archives, but it's gone from the internet at this point. But if you go on their site, it says they gave 1% of 3% of all their earnings to whatever charity that it was. No one knows still, but you have to understand how little that is. If they made hundreds of thousands of dollars from this currency, they'd only be giving like a couple hundred away, maybe even less than that. Because 1% of 3% is basically nothing. It's pennies to dollars at that point. But FaZe Clan just recently announced yesterday on their Twitter that they have suspended and even removed K from FaZe Clan, which is the most ideal situation i think they should have all been kicked from base clan but you can't have everything i guess but they gave the most cut and dry response they said base clan has no um involvement in these members activity on the crypto space which is true but they have to be under control of something of the their people because jarvis and k have been doing scammy stuff forever so they should have been having more eyes on them and Ricecom of all people, why would you trust Ricecom? Just for the people who have invested in this, I'm not like blaming you, but Ricecom was a part of this. You should not have invested in Ricecom. He's been known to scam his fans out of hundreds of thousands, but that's what happens when I guess you're a Ricecom fan. You lose half of your brain and then another half supporting Jarvis. And another problem with this controversy is that they deleted all their posts after the coin plummeted. I'll put up some graphs so you could see what happened to the coin. It's on coin micro cap and a couple other cryptocurrency exchanges. So if you want to go check it out, I'll try to put links in the description. But after this, they deleted their posts. Everyone just kind of left and their fans were just scammed out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Literally people who thought and could believe in these people who thought that they were giving to a good cause just out. They're out of thousands of dollars. I can't believe that they did this to people. Like, what goes in on in your mind to think, oh, I'm going to scam people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars to think I'm giving to charity? Like, these guys have millions upon millions of dollars. They, I think, what's it called? Um, files came out about members of FaZe Clan getting government subsidiaries, or not government subsidiaries, like funds for small business support, small business relief from coronavirus. And what did they do with that money? They spent millions of dollars on a new FaZe house, mansion, 30 million. But, you know, publicity and all that. But at this point, what can you expect from these guys? There's very little to say about these cretins, these cretins, but 
at this point, just be careful about what you invest in, because there's thousands of scam coins. Like, yeah, sure, Dogecoin worked, but that's because it actually, after it pumped and dumped for a little while, people supported it. It was at pretty much zero for most of its life until recently when Elon Musk, the douchebag of the cryptocurrency sphere at this point, just kind of pumped it up and then the community was like, yeah, Dogecoin. But like Cum Rocket and what else is there? All these fake coins, just watch out for them. Sure, some of them might be legit, but just don't invest all you own into it. That's just like the dumbest idea ever. Uh, this isn't like trading advice. I'm only 17, so I shouldn't be giving advice at all, but it just believe if you believe in a currency, then yeah, back it, but just don't believe price gum of all people. Don't believe price gum. But other than that, I don't really know what to say. I could, um, that's about it. Yeah. See ya. Don't invest in anything rice gum gives. And later. Forgot to state this in the video, but go check out CoffeeZilla. I got a lot of my information from him. If uh, there's a lot I missed out in this video, I might make a follow up if something else comes out about these people, Twitch, Space Clan, and all that. But other than that, go check out CoffeeZilla, great YouTuber, and see ya.